business is booming for Daniel Kariuki. His chicken farms near Kenya's capital, Nairobi. And key to his success are antibiotics. He puts them in their drinking water every day. But the bacteria often become tough and resistant. And so then he changes to another drug. Uh, there are times that that disease becomes persistent. You find that you have given the treatment as required, but maybe 50% of the birds have not been cured. So what happens, you have to change the type that you are using because that means it's not effective. Can I get a quarter chicken and chips? Just a few kilometers away in the city. In fact, let's make it a half chicken and chips. It's takeaways like this where the chickens end up. Every day, all across the developing world, more and more people are eating food like this, and not only chicken, but also all other kinds of meat and animal products. Growing populations mean there's more mouths to feed, and growing economies mean more and more people can afford food like this. In the developed world, most countries have already reached their maximum meat consumption, but in the world's giant emerging economies like China and Brazil, it's been growing for decades and it's expected to grow for decades to come. Here in Kenya, the boom has only really just begun. And more meat means more antibiotics. And that means more bacteria will become resistant. Scientists say common infections that are easily treated now, in the future, will become untreatable and fatal. And not just in animals, but in people too. Here at the headquarters of the International Livestock Research Institute, Scientists say they've detected a rapid increase in bacterial resistance in developing countries. Biologist Timothy Robinson just published a paper on it. We're just starting now to gather the, the magnitude of the problem of antimicrobial resistance developing. And it's a problem that affects absolutely everybody in the world. Everybody is dependent on, on antimicrobials for their public health and, uh, and for their livestock's health as well. And so it's, 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 it's a massive problem that's just going to get worse and worse unless we start to deal with it now. But farmers like Daniel can't really deal with this massive problem by themselves. Keeping his chickens healthy using antibiotics is what keeps his family fed and his children in school. In developed countries, farmers now use less of the drugs because of regulation and public pressure. But farmers in the developing world are going to need help to do the same. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Nairobi, Kenya.